Hey everybody, it's Alan from Eagle Al's 57. We're coming from the inside of my house today. There you are. And I'm going to just show you some videos that we have from back in the early 90s. Uh, the stupid crap that we used to do. Um, we used to have those big ass uh, video camcorders that take the big VCR tape. That's what I got in here. I got some antique crap. So... Um, the videoing is not great, um, but I hope you guys like it. Uh, the first one that's going to be coming up is my buddy's 55 Chevy. Uh, he never burned rubber or anything at all. It's got a crate motor, uh, GM, um, that ZZ4 motor. Um, that's got in there. So he, he let me burn rubber with it. So what the hell? If he's going to let me do it, I'm going to take it. So here we go. He's yelling at me to get out of the car. <laughs> That's me in the driver's seat. That's in the back of a, I used to own a parts store, that's the back of the parts store. A little bit of rubber. He's picking it up. And then we go into my buddy's, uh, this is a 64 and a half Galaxy convertible. His father bought it brand new. It has the original 352 that's bored out to a 428 with a 428 cranker, so it's actually a 428. A little bit of smoke there. Once wasn't enough for him, so he's going to come back and do another one. All the your belt squeal a little bit. Let's kill them tires some more. Getting a little sideways here. Oh, he's got it now. Front wheels are cranked. <laughs> I'm dying from the smoke. <laughs> I'm not quite, I'm not, I don't remember which one's coming up next. But there's so much smoke coming out of the, from the inside of the trunk, it's coming out of the seats. The tires are almost bald. Is it coming out of the back of the seats right there? Right. Let's see what's next. Uh, this is the 57. We're doing some body work on it. Just got done stripping it with paint stripper and I brought it to the guys next door. He let me use his back lot because it's all dirt. And I have a guy coming over to uh, sandblast it real lightly. The door jams and all that. That hood I didn't use. It was too effed up. Let's see where we're going next. Oh, here we go. Here's me and 57 sitting on a crate. See the crate? <laughs> Have to clean the plugs out a little bit. Ah, oh, 
guys. So. Then the next one there was yours. That all you got. <laughs> all right, hold on. I forget. <laughs> Doing burnouts are fun, but sometimes they go wrong. Here we got a $15,000 big block, 632 cubes. This is the first burnout that was done with it. Right here, I don't know if you can see it, there is a shrap mill fucking hole in the oil pan. Oil is gushing out of it here. It spit the connecting rod cap off right here. And the oil is just dripping out of this poor motor. It is. We need a hazmat team for this. Not the best thing going, but here, where are you? Let me get you over there. You are. Let me get in here like this. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be out in the garage soon. Um, I got some new parts for the '57. Uh, my guy got four fifty-four. Just got done putting all the valve sp inner valve springs in, adjusting all the rockers. Um, so I'm going to take a video of that. That will be coming up for sale soon. And remember, burning rubber keeps you young. And do me a huge favor. Hit the subscribe button. I'm almost to that thousand mark. I think I got 935 subscribers. I think once I reach the thousand mark or just over the thousand, I will actually start making some money with my YouTube channel. I noticed that they're putting video, um, ad, ad, advertisement on my uh, clips when you pop open. So somebody's making money, but it's not this guy. But if you guys help me out, this guy will be making money. So remember, burning rubber keeps you young. Thanks for watching, you guys. Once I start making money, I'm going to buy a better camera so things come out better. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm stuck in my junk here and uh, appreciate all your all your subscribers. Have a great day. Thanks.